Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to download and install Docker on Windows. New browser window. I will search Docker install Windows. I will go to the first link docs.docker.com desktop windows install here uh, we can download the exe file from this link docker desktop for windows i will click this link now this exe file getting downloaded is downloading now while it's downloading let me walk you through the system requirement to install the docker on windows you need to have 64 bit either Windows 11 or Windows 10. You need to have a 4 GB of system RAM. So first requirement is you need to have 64 bit processor Windows 10 or 11 and then you need to have 4 GB system RAM. That's minimum requirement. And you need to have a hardware virtualization support that is need to be enabled. To check that this is enabled or not, virtualization is enabled or not, we need to go to the task manager. We need to click performance. And here we need to check the virtualization. It should be enabled. By default, it is enabled. But by any chance, if you have uh, made disabled previously, then you have to go to the BIOS setting and we have to make the this virtualization enabled. So once this exe file is downloaded, I will start the installation process. In installation process, we have to click this exe file and then we have to select the WSL2 instead of Hyper-B because the WSL2 is a latest technology. We have to use that. Okay, our exe file has been downloaded. I will go to the show in folder. I will click this Docker desktop installer. Here we need to keep these both actions checked because we want to use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. So this is uh, we need to keep checked and we can add the shortcut Docker shortcut to the desktop. So we will keep these checked. Both options should remain checked. I will click OK. Now installer is unpacking the files. In the meantime, I will go to the download page here i will click get started with the docker so we can run few commands once uh, docker installed we can check few commands how they are working so once it is installed we will uh, run this command it will pull the docker slash getting started image and then it will start the container but before that let's check if our docker is installed or not it is still installing okay installation is complete and installation is successful i will click close now i will go to the start menu i will click docker desktop I will accept this uh, Docker subscription service agreement. This is a Docker desktop. It is starting. While Docker desktop is starting, let me show you the menus, left menu, it has container. So it shows all the container that's running 
it's a uh, images it shows the all the images we can skip this tutorial so here we can see the container right now there is no container images we can see the images right now there is no images we can see the mounted volume so now i will go to the command prompt cmd and here also we can run few commands to check that docker is working properly docker images so right now there is no image but the docker is working because we haven't created any image we haven't pulled any image that's why there is no local image here we can check the docker container there is no container right now now i will go to the download page and i will try this command i will run the docker slash getting started image here i will copy it go to command prompt and i will paste it okay let me copy again go to command prompt okay so what this command will do it will uh, first check this image in the local if it does not find it will pull the image from the docker hub and then it will start the container so it's uh, checking the image local it didn't find it now it will go to the docker hub and now it's downloading the image from the docker hub so it's still downloading download successful now let's check image again docker images we have this image we just downloaded this is the image this is a tag and this is size now let's check container so we have one container running so what this command did this downloaded the image that's why we are seeing image here and then it ran this uh, image so it ran in a container so it started a container this is a container we can see the same thing in the desktop gui also so i will go to the desktop here you can see that we have a image docker getting started image and here we can see a container so this is the container that's in running state now i will go back to the download page we can see this uh, application that is ran by container so we can go to this url and check the what application this container is running in the new tab pasted so it going to the local port 80 because in our command we mapped the port 80 to the container port 80 okay so this is the application that ran by container so this is a uh, all these uh, tutorial documentation we can see that they are coming from local We can stop this container for that we can click this stop button so it's getting stopped so status will change so now it is a exited status we can delete this container so now there is no container we can go to the command prompt we can see that there is no container here but we still have the image you can see that image is still there we can go to the desktop go to the images and we can delete the image as well so we deleted the image now we will go to the command prompt we won't see image there is no image right now here 
So these are the few basic commands that I ran so we can make sure that our uh, Docker installed properly. This is all in this video. I hope you understood how to download Docker and how to install Docker on Windows. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.